have, you know, we, have, we literally have our own little martial art for this game. So, keep in mind, you do not necessarily have to baseball bat so many martial uh, arts. As we'll show you, we'll get some of our veterans up here to kind of give you an example of a lot of the shots and everything that we do. It's a lot different than the game. So, now, uh, somebody, somebody get, get up here. All right. Now. We have a victim. I'm always a victim. All right. Arms yes. up. Now, basic head locations. You are hitting the arm. You lose that arm, but that arm behind you is to indicate that you have lost and you are still alive. If you are hitting the leg, you lose that leg. You are still alive. However, that dead knee needs to be on the ground. If you have knee problems, and believe me, I do, you should listen to this. It's disgusting. Mm, because, you know, this is 10 years of doing this. <laughs> if you do have knee problems, just plant the foot, pivot. If you need to drag it, call dragging. That's totally fine. Stand oh. back up. All right, if you are hit in the torso, which includes chest, shoulders, your butt, your back, you are dead. If you are hit in the groin, I'm sorry, take a death. <laughs> That's what you want to. We don't. Just that great for you. <laughs> We do not encourage a groin shot. However, if you get hit there, you are dead. And believe me, I would take death too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you are hit, it's, it's a good excuse to go sit down for a few minutes and yes. recover. It's like, oh yeah. Technical break. If you are hit in the neck and the head, that does not count. If you are hit in the hand and you are holding a weapon, it does not count. However, if you are hit in the hand and you are not holding anything, that is still an arm shot. Okay. Foot on ground does not count, but off ground does count. Uh, oh yes, two shots to the arm will kill you. Two shots to the leg will not. Reason being, you are simulating cutting off the arm and going through to cleave the person. So basically, that's a really good way to take somebody out is just tap, tap. Which, you know, again, goes along with our very, very fast-paced fighting. You can take somebody out like that and you really know what you're doing. So, uh, as far as a dead leg, once you take the leg, you can just keep beating on it all day, so I didn't do anything, you're still alive. Uh, you, can, you, can do, you can do combination <laughs> shots, you can take a limb, yeah, you can do a chest, you can, you can take an arm, you can take a leg, that's essentially going to kill somebody. You can stab, you can slash, and you can bludgeon. Uh, toss me a weapon real quick. Now, keep in mind, with our shots, you need to make sure that they are actually solid and they land. Most of the time, you're going to be hearing little pop noises. If you barely miss, if you draw a cut, wiggle it a little bit, that does not count. All right? So make sure that your shots are very solid. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, one other thing, too, make sure, make sure that you take your shots. If you do not, we're not going to like that. We don't like cheaters. We don't like people who are going to sit here and just. Nah, 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 nah. It's people that we pretty much are turn for it is the slugger. We're going to start calling you slugger. That's not going to make the game fun. We're going to treat you like a slugger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, ultimately, the whole point of this is to have a lot of fun. You, you know, get, you know, you got a little bit of aggression to get out. This is a good way to do it. This is very good self-discipline. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of exercise. Yeah. But make sure to take your shots. Otherwise, you're going to be led. You know, we're going to let you know really fast. You don't want that because I got a slug stick over here. So, I'll yeah. borrow it. Yes. So basically, you lose both arms, so that counts as death. Losing any two limbs counts as death. So, uh, lose so if I take an arm and a leg, yeah, you're yeah, dead. You are dead. Just bigger. Just bigger. That's right. That's right. I don't know. Recap. What about cars and arm? Arm We're not using arm. What about cars? Um, if, uh, if by any chance the weapon just barely catches your, your clothing, but it doesn't actually land on you, that's all guard, that is not the cold. I mean, essentially, you don't take any damage. So, you know, if you see, you know, if you see me kind of flailing around and you just barely catch this, it doesn't actually hit me. Doesn't count. Keep in mind, you guys, uh, if you're not too sure about a shot, whether if it landed or you're not sure if you know if it landed on your opponent, just take it anyway, just to kind of avoid some confusion. Don't worry about sitting here getting an argument with somebody over it, guys. It's a game. We're here to have fun. You know, you're, you're going to be a better fighter if you die a thousand times honorably. They died one time dishonorably. Always remember that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, we have a lot of cool games. Uh, we have a lot of cool games playing today. 
Um, today we have something really cool that we've actually not been able to do the last couple times. As you'll see up on the table over here, we have a good display, uh, some examples of uh, some of the things we use. We have different sashes for some of our character classes, uh, different little throwies. Uh, we've got armor up here. All the armor you see on the table, I've made. Uh, personally handmade, so I'll give you kind of examples of some of the things that we use. Um, we also have an example of a bow and arrow, and we do have examples of materials that we do use in, uh, at least for our weapons. So it's going to give you guys a little bit of an idea of, of you know, what we do. Uh, keep in mind the bow, no touchy. Hey, no touchy bow, only look. Thank you. You're fine. Uh, if you guys would, uh, I'm fine if you guys kind of messing with the armor, please put it back. Just look at the bow, it's expensive. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with it. But if anything, it kind of give you a good example of what we're all about. Now, what we're going to do first, I'm going to have two people come up here, uh, two of our veterans. They're going to kind of do it you know, a couple of rounds so you can kind of give you guys an idea of what we're doing. And then we're going to go ahead and work on some of our melee games. we got a lot of cool stuff. We're going to be doing some line fighting. We're going to play our version of handball, which is called slaughter ball. Maybe we'll go out Robin. And if we have time, we're going to be doing a lot of zombies and maybe ring the bell on top of that. So, Topher, Mantic, front and center. Now, if you are doing a one-on-one -on -one fight, Two opponents come up, what you do is you extend your weapon and tap swords, you take a step back. Is that your Why do we do that? We do that as a courtesy. What's Don't be a douche. <laughs> Give your opponent a minute to gather themselves to they fight. Uh, I can't Don't help sit you. there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Don't sit there and tap swords and knitting in and because that's stupid. Alright? What do guys want? So does he want to end this beat shit early? Oh. <laughs> oh, now, when you die, when you die, you call dead, and you either put your weapon on top of your head, or you put your hand on top of your head. That is the universal indication and guard that you are dead, and you are out of the game, and step off the field. Alright? Now, for one-on-one, -on -one, obviously, take a step back. If you're if we're doing any type of type of game, not so much, but again, don't be a douche. All right, <laughs> you guys go ahead and do three rounds, and we'll let them get in. Come on. I think we 